brand new I know it's been a little while since I posted um, I've been addressing two of the issues that I have still lingering that I really didn't focus as much attention to as I did with my broken heart which is why this page is even here is because of the brokenness, the heartbreak that I suffer from. I did a lot of fasting and praying and purging and addressing a lot of issues um, pertaining to my broken heart. And praise God, he got me through that. I, I give him him giving God all the glory and all the praise for healing and addressing. Got to fix that. Healing and dressing. You guys know I changed my hair so much. I see the thread stick it out. Healing and addressing my broken heart. He did that. And I'm so thankful now that that has been addressed. That's not like a big issue for me anymore. There's still some other issues that I am dealing with and I have been wanting for a while to come on and post about it um it's 11 30 at night I'm literally getting ready for bed you can see my blanket back there and I just the night that I had I, I I'm not even going to get into that but I had I was just praying and God was asking me to just please speak about this um being molested I didn't spend as much time as I did with the broken heart and addressing it. I addressed it, but there's still some residual issues that I'm still dealing with. And one of the ways that I coped was with eating gluttony. And so now I'm like, okay, I got past the broken heart. I didn't even think about the the gluttony and the molestation and in the same way that I did with the um, broken heart and so now I have to do that work I am struggling with the gluttony right now um, I've spoken about my um, knee surgery and you know just not being able to be as active as I was before and the way I would cope even with my broken heart or just whenever I would deal with things is with eating, emotional eater. And so I've really been spending time with God, um, praying, not fasting that much, but praying and asking him to reveal to me what I need to do, what, what, what's going on here, because I don't want to keep carrying this. I, the broken heart was a lot. But then he told me tonight that I don't have to carry any of this. And that's what I want to share with you. Whatever is your issues may not be gluttony or broken heart or um, molestation. Yours could be, um, I don't know, being uh, abandoned, um, drug abuse, um, porn addiction, whatever it is you're facing. He reminded me tonight that I don't have to carry any of this. And that's what I felt like. I had this in a backpack on my back and I've been carrying it around. And the broken heart was like the heaviest, but the gluttony and the molestation, they're heavy too. And I understand it's going to thank you, Holy Spirit, take some time, but I'm willing to do the work. It took almost four years for me to get over um, the broken heart. And so I'm saying to myself, God, is this going to take that long? But at the same time, I was molested at, what, six, seven years old? I was a child. I am 45 now. I've been carrying that for a long time. And the same thing with the gluttony. They go hand in hand. And he told me I don't have to carry it anymore. And I just broke down in tears because I was like, I'm tired. I don't want to carry this anymore. I, and I, I don't want to, I don't have to do this anymore. I just want to heal from it and move forward. And that's what he told me tonight. One, don't stop talking. 
to the people. Share with them. And share with them what you're dealing with. I was supposed to talk about the gluttony maybe two or three nights ago, but I just wasn't, I wasn't in that space. I was being more myself and forgetting about, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, doing God's work. And so I, and that's the other thing, you know, now, now that the enemy can't hold me down with a broken heart anymore, he's going to go after the other things that he knows triggers me. And that's the gluttony. He's going to go after me with the eating and he knows, well, you know what, if I can keep her eating and she just gets, continues to get heavier and heavier, she's not going to want to go on here and do videos. I'm, I, I'm not, listen, that's one thing that God taught me and I had a lot of issues with was not loving myself, self-love, no matter how I looked, what my weight was. Um, I love myself and I know God loves me. And that's where that that's all that matters to me. So me right now being the heaviest I've been in two, three years, that doesn't matter to me. I, I'm comfortable where I'm at with God. And I know that literally everything he's been showing me this year and preparing for even today, um, I feel confident that this is not going to be my forever. This is my right now. And, and I've got to continue doing the work. So I'm not worrying about that. But what was my point? <laughs> I can't let, I, I cannot let this hold me down. And I'm asking you the same. Don't let anything hold you. Don't, don't let anything that you're dealing with keep you from what God needs you to do. You know, we all have assignments and I'm sure God has given you one. You may not know it. Ask him what your assignment is, but he needs us to do his kingdom business here right now, especially in the darkest of times, the, the, the way things are going. He needs us to be his messenger, be his light. And I just want to share this with someone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I'm probably not going to get my point back. I can't remember, but be his light, be his messenger, be his voice, share let people know what God is doing in your life and help encourage them. Let them know that they're not alone. You know, the enemy really likes to play on that. He wants us to think that we're by ourselves. Nobody cares. Nobody loves us. Nobody wants us. You're not good enough. You know, you can't, you can't have what you're seeking. You'll never get there. Or the other one is God's not going to do that for you. God forgot about you. All lies. All lies. He loves us so much. He loves us so, so much. And just thinking about everything that I have dealt with and for him to have me here right now, talking about this on, on social media, helping me grow, healing me in so many different areas. I can't imagine if I had a... If, if I had to stay where I was, oh my, I, I don't even want to know. But he has provided me restoration. He's given me my time back. Unconditional love. I, I can go on and on all night, but I'm not going to do that. But you don't have to carry your burdens. And I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. You don't have to carry your burdens. He will be right there. He will carry them for you. He will help you through it. I thought before I got on here, I was thinking about, you know what? I was on the same subway train <laughs> for years and never got off. I never went anywhere. I stayed on the same subway and just kept going and going and going and going. And then finally, God said, you don't have to stay on here anymore. You can get off now. He rerouted me. He gave me direction. And I'm so thankful because if I was still on that subway, <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling you, I, I wouldn't be here right now talking about this. Who knows? But he's got a purpose and a plan for all of us. And I'm praying that this makes sense. I, I'm literally, anytime I do these videos, it's as unscripted. I just start talking. So I'm hoping that this resonates with someone, but you don't have to stay on that subway anymore. You can get off and you don't have to carry all that luggage with you. You don't have to carry everything that you've been dealing with. God will 
provide. He will provide. And I am a witness. So I'm praying that this blessed you in some way. I'm praying that this helped in some way. Please share it with someone if you believe they need that encouragement. They need to know that they're not the only ones that are going through something and that, you know, God will, he's, he's with us. All we have to do is just ask him, just talk to him. And he shows up even when we don't even ask. So until next time, family, I love you. Blessings on you. And thank you. Thank you for listening.